In this video, I'm going to show you how to authenticate your domain in system.io. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is to the right, you want to click on settings. You want to look for emails right there. You want to click on emails. That's on your left. Then you want to scroll down to where it says domain right here. It says click here to authenticate your domain and display its information in your email header which will help improve your email delivery rates. So before we go ahead and click here, we want to scroll down to where it says verified email addresses. So we first want to verify your email address before we go ahead and authenticate your domain. So I have done that already and I'm going to show you how I did it. So you want to scroll to where it says click here to confirm your email address. You're going to click on that. You're going to enter your email address. In my case, it was nashagonsalves.com. That's my business email that I got from Zoho Mail. If you want to create your business email, you can create it in Zoho for completely free. So once you have entered your email right here, you want to go ahead and save. System sends your confirmation email. So you want to go to your email address and you want to click on that confirmation message that system will send you. Once you have done that, then you will come back here and you will see verified. If you do not confirm on the right, you're going to see pending. So once you have added the email address and saved, you will see pending on your right. Once you have gone ahead to your email and click confirm email address, then you will see verified. Once you have done that, we now want to go ahead and authenticate our email address. So in order to do that, you're going to click where it says click here to authenticate. You're going to click it, enter your domain name. Once you have entered your domain name, you're going to click save. Then notice it says here pending. What we want, to, what we want to do is click on the I right here. Then we are given the DNS record. So this is, so we have one, two, three, four DNS record that we need to put in our hosting. In my case, my hosting is Bluehost. So whether yours is GoDaddy, Namecheap, it doesn't matter what it is, the process is the same. So what I want to do, I want to insert these DNS record into my Bluehost account or into my Bluehost. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So the first thing you want to do, I'm gonna go over to my Bluehost. I am here in Bluehost. What I'm going to do is click on domain. So even if you're using another hosting, the process will almost be the same. What you need to look for is advanced tools. So this is where I find mine. I click on domains. If you're using Bluehost domains, you go to advanced tools, click on advanced tools to the right where it says manage. You just want to locate your DNS record, continue. And this is what is here. So then I'm going to go back to system.io and I want to enter the CNAME into my DNS record in Bluehost. So the first thing we're going to do is, so it's CNAME. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Bluehost. You're gonna look for add record. So I'm gonna click on add record. The first record is CNAME. So type, you're gonna change, change type to CNAME. Refers to, we're going to go back to Bluehost, to system, sorry. We wanna highlight on the name, the first CNAME right here. We're gonna highlight it, copy refers to other hosts. We're going to select other hosts and we're going to paste it right there. Then here we want to go back again, the value. We're going to copy that and we want to paste it right here. Then TTL, we want to give it one hour. We're going to put it at one hour. Then we're going to add. If when you add, you don't receive success, you receive an error. It meant that something was done incorrectly. Awesome. So our first DNS record is in. We now want to add the next, the second CNAME. We're going to do the same thing. So in case you missed it, add a record, type CNAME, refer to other hosts. We go back to system.io. We copy, we paste right here. We go back. We want the value, copy the value and we paste same thing. TTL one hour and we add. Then we add again, add a record. We're gonna now add the third C name. Same process, C name refers to other hosts. Back to system.io. We highlight, copy, don't miss a step. We paste, go back to system.io, copy the value. 
So all we are doing is copy and paste. And it's like we are connecting. We are connecting our hosting to system.io. We paste TTL one hour and then we add. Awesome. So the final one is a text. So this time we're going to add a record. Our type will be text. We go back to system. We see here our name. Copy right here. Back to system. Refers to other host. We want to put that name right there. Then we go back to system. On the value, we want to copy right there. Just going to copy this entire link there. This entire record back to the host and we want to paste it right there. But then we're going to change the TTL to one hour and then we're going to add that. All right. And that's it. Notice what it says. Please allow up to 24 hours for changes to take effect. Sometimes the changes take effect within 10 minutes. Sometimes it does take an entire 24 hours to propagate. It has been at least an hour. And you can see here that my domain name has been verified. So once the status has changed to verified, then everything was connected successfully.